Hey! Someone help! Some trap found something down there. Looks like foul play. <laughs> Ask about this. I heard a splash, and right quick pulled this bloke out of the shallows, dead as a mackerel. I live there now, if you can call it living. I lost my job, didn't I? No need for the likes of me when a machine can do the work. A nice warm coat like that on a dead man? What do you expect? I snatched it before somebody else came along to nick it. Like you? I should reinterrogate a suspect. The midnight train, that must be the 616, stops in the station down the road. If you hurry, it might still be there. Better hurry. It's leaving right now. It was a typical evening. As far as I knew, nothing unusual happened until you came aboard with this story of a murder. I was tidying up in the passenger car. Around midnight, Vivian ran through. She thought someone was looking for her. Just another wealthy passenger. They're all pretty much the same.
Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Nothing unusual. A couple of passengers came in and had a sort of business meeting. One of them was buying a lot of drinks for the other, and then they started to argue. But Vivian went over and joshed them out of it. Oh, uh, well, it's a noisy train. Plenty your passengers have trouble getting to sleep, so I keep sitting of here behind the bar, yeah? Peter, nice bloke. Came here after being sacked from a foundry a few months ago. I'll tell you, he looked white as a ghost after he served the businessman. strong fella to drag someone up onto the roof. Vivian had another of her dupes in her compartment by then. After that, I remember people going past me from time to time, but I was half asleep. Killian was on this train. Cool. I used to work at his foundry. I never even seen him. None of us workers ever knew what he looked like. Well, Peter worked with me at the foundry. He's a very strong bloke. I got the arm mangled in one of the damn machines they put in. Then Killian sacked the old crew. Peter, he helped me get hired as train star. I should reinterrogate a suspect. I should return and find out about this. Nothing unusual at all. I had a drink with some gents and then retired to my sleeper. Someone slipped a note under my sleeper door a few minutes before midnight. It said I should come to the dining car. I went, but only Ryan and Wolf's man were there, and they were both drunk. The rich fella. I did talk with him. Very charming. But a single woman has to be careful, you know? Did something happen to him? Uh, 
all wry. I flirt with rich blokes and the barman slips them a mickey. I take them back to my sleeper and they nod off before I have to do anything shameful. They wake up thinking they had a night of fun and had me a few quid. That's what happened with Mr. Killian, but he was gone when I come back from looking for the man who left the note. friendly with the other passengers. I gave him what he deserved. The man was heartless. Down the back of the room. 